Our next component is just simply a piston and you see that the rings have a little bit of scoring and take note of arrow up on top. Okay, now our first question concerning the piston is even if <clears throat> the compression is low, if the ring looks good, they can be reused. Okay, there again, if it looks good, that doesn't mean anything. Has it lost any of the, so to speak, tension right here? If they become weak, then they won't seal properly. Or if they're possibly scored, even they, look, they might look good, they will not seal properly. Therefore, the combustion pressure, combustion chamber pressure will be lower. Okay, the arrow on the dome of the piston indicates direction of installation. That is correct. And there again, you note the arrow up on top of the piston, right here. That indicates direction of installation. Generally toward the front, but not necessarily. Uh, when the piston rings are installed, the end gap should be aligned. That is absolutely false. Because if you were to align these end gaps, you see that end gap and that end gap. Okay, if you were to align them, what would happen to the compression? It would have a free pass just to go straight by. So now they should be staggered. <coughs> on the piston. You do not line them up like that. Even though it might sound logical, that is incorrect. The, the wear pattern could be caused by dirt, dirty oil. Yeah, if you look at the wear, the scuffing on the bottom of, or the skirt to the piston, right in here, all the scuffing, that could be possibly dirty oil discontaminated oil. Now you see one score line here and that's from contaminant. It could be carbon, it could be just dirt in the oil, it could be practically anything. But yeah, dirty oil can cause that. Okay, the next the top of the piston ring end gap is important for proper combustion chamber sealing. That is absolutely correct because what happens if you have too wide of a ring gap in here? Say if your end gap was like this. Okay, you'd have compression leaking by. If your end gap is squeezed down to that right there you wouldn't have near as much of a chance for compression to leak by. So that is very, very important. And on some engines in the past, we have had to actually clearance. We've had to do what's called gapping the rings. And you notice how tight you can actually make it. But too wide of a gap here, such as that, you'll have compression leak by. And that is all for this particular component.